let's roll. It feels great to watch these young guys come in and, and tear up the tour. I think it gives us uh, young cats a lot of a lot of confidence. You know, I think the big events so far have been won by Jordan Spieth and Ricky Fowler and, and Rory McIlroy. Um, so I think the young cats are starting to come up. You know, I think the game's changing a little bit. You know, I think we're, we're not we're not really shying away from the limelight. Hopefully, my time my time comes soon. I definitely do some yoga. I do some Bikram yoga when I'm back home. It's like steam yoga. When I first heard about yoga, I'm like, okay, that is not cool. Nobody does yoga. Only women do yoga, you know? All these weird stretches and yoga pants, you know? That's why they have that name. It was hard at first. I couldn't do half the yoga moves <laughs> with my long, lakey self. For the most part, I do it enough to know enough of the poses and I've kind of incorporated, incorporated it inside my own routine. And I really enjoy doing it now, yeah. I don't want to go more than three or four weeks without seeing see my family. So we try to we try to balance the time, you know, whether that's, you know, them coming out or me going back home. We just kind of figure it out. We got three, three young bucks. It's crazy for me to think that, you know, 25 years old, I got three kids, you know, it's a lot of a lot of responsibility. I don't know that I'm responsible to take care of myself, but, <laughs> but uh, here I have three kids looking up to me. So I had to grow I had to grow fast. You know, I get I definitely get anxious to, to just see them and you know, have their spirits around me and stuff like that. But uh, it's just motivation for me to, to go out and play well and, um, and hopefully provide the life for them that I didn't have. Growing up uh, in a really poor town um, in, in Rose Park, Salt Lake City, Utah, and, uh, you know, didn't grow up for much money. There was eight of us, so my parents, my dad had to feed eight of us. You know, it'd be nice to change that for, for my kids. It's kind of what motivates me. Uh, moving forward is, is, you know, for my kids, maybe my grandkids could have something a little bit different. And, and golf was kind of that driving vehicle for me. I chose golf over any other sports. You know, I felt like I um, was successful in playing basketball as a, as a young kid. I play a lot of basketball still to this day. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Don't tell my agent. <laughs> no, you know, that's, that's kind of what I like to do on my, on my off time and maybe in football and stuff like that. But um, I definitely have the size to play those sports. But uh, I excelled uh, at golf uh, a lot earlier than any of those other sports. So um, I think that was definitely my way of uh, keeping myself out of trouble, uh, you know, in, in kind of a tough neighborhood. And in Utah, we, we can only bank on the weather, weather six or seven months out of the year. Um, in the wintertime, my dad would just, you know, he put up a mattress. He'd spray paint some, some spots where he felt like, you know, we should be hitting certain clubs this height, this height, you know. So that's just kind of how we learned how to play. We learned inside of a garage. Uh, my brother and I had to play golf, and it's kind of crazy. Um, I don't know that that's a, a recipe for success, but that was at least our recipe. I think what gets me going is just my, you know, just my family, um, you know, support that I have, and uh, people back home. I think just being proud from where, you know, where I come from. And I think that's enough, enough energy to strive on. The only thing on my mind right now is food. I'm starving. <laughs> So I haven't eaten all, all morning. Sometimes that's how it is. I'm excited to just get in there and get some grub and starving. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Mm. Oh, are you kidding me? Refrigerator in here? Oh my gosh. Wine bottles. Pop and chap paint. Like we won a championship game.